in this video we'll be solving the given uh, question that says uh, the grammar is given we need to obtain lmd and rmd for the given respective strings and we need to further represent it using the corresponding parse tree so let's first define the grammar here we know that grammar g comprises of four tuples that is vtps where v comprises of the non terminals here the non terminals uh, in the capital letters are e and s right so e comma s then we have t the terminals which are represented in uh, the small letters or the it could be the symbols also so here we have plus star open parenthesis close parenthesis a b d so all these are the terminals a star plus star open parenthesis close parenthesis a b and d followed by that we have p that is the set of instructions or the rules here uh, the rules are e derives e plus e e also derives e star e e enclosed in parenthesis and e derives s and now we have s derives a b and d then here the start symbol is e right so we need to take uh, as we need to take the productions in the same order given in the question as given in the question so now let's start from the lmd part so let's write lmd so ln lmd we need to obtain the string a star b plus d right so this we need to obtain so let's start so we'll take we need to start from the uh, the start symbol right so here we have e derives lmd1 let's write e derives e plus e okay let's take this as production 1 production 2 production 3 production 4 and this entirely as production 5 okay so let's take e derives e plus c this we have obtained from step or the from the production next as it is lmd we need to uh, replace the leftmost variable in each step so let's replace this e so we get e star e this plus e this plus c as it is this was from p4 Now let's replace this e. We get s star e plus e. This was from p five. Now again we'll replace this s. We get uh, a star e plus e. So the final string which we required com comprises of a. So we have got a in the same position. Star is also there. Now let's look into b part. So this was from p five. Right. So now let's look into a star e. This e needs to be replaced. So we write what will we write e? Oh e. We'll write uh, p four. Right a star. Let's write s here plus e. This is from p four. Now a star. This s is derived. Uh, we need b here. And S derives B is in the production five. So let's write B here plus C. This is in production five from production five. Here we have A star B plus this E. E derives S from P four. And A star B plus D. That is S derives D from P five. Here we have obtained the LMD. Uh, LMD one. Now let's look into uh, LMD two. Let's check if it is possible. If possible, let's write it. So E derives LMD two. So E star E. Let's start from E star E this time. Previously we had started from E plus E, right? So this is from P two. Then let's replace this E S star E. From P four, this S needs to be replaced now. A star E from 
this is from p5 then we have a star this e needs to be replaced we'll write e plus c there e plus c this was from p1 now a star this e needs to be replaced by s plus e this is from p4 now let's write a star this set needs to be replaced a a uh, what was it a star here we have b plus e this is p5 now we have a star b plus this e needs to be written as s that is from p4 again a star b plus s derives d so in p5 from p5 production so we have obtained the lmd2 also fine now let's look into the rmd part so rmd we need to obtain the string of the form b plus d plus a so let's start s okay e derives rmd1 e plus e okay so this is from p1 here we need to consider the rightmost variable in each step we need to change it that is what rmd refers to right so e plus will change e by e parenthesis e because here d plus a are uh, inside the parenthesis so we can replace this e further so this was from p3 now our next step is e plus this e needs to be changed so we'll write e plus e in that place from p1 next e plus e plus this e needs to be changed we'll write it as s from p4 now this s needs to be changed e plus e plus here we need a right so s derives a this is from p5 now moving on to e plus this e needs to be changed we will write it as s plus a from production 4 then we have e plus this s needs to be changed we write s derives d because d is required here s derives d so we will write d plus a inside the parenthesis now we have obtained d plus a d plus a plus is there plus is there this e needs to be changed to b so e will first uh, e derives s then from s derives b so e derives s that is from the step 4 and s derives a or oh, sorry b b plus d plus a from p5 so here we have obtained the rmd1 uh, if you look at this uh, string uh, there's no possibility of getting another rmd so let's stop it here now the the next part of our question is to construct the parse tree corresponding parse tree for each uh, lmd and rmd so let's start with it so uh, as we have discussed the parse tree should always start with the root node uh, comprising of the start symbol that is e here e derives here we get e plus e firstly right here we have e plus e right first followed by that here uh, this e is changing this e changes to s this e changes to s so this e changes to s and this s changes to a okay next this e this e actually splits into e sorry this e actually splits into uh, e star e right so let's write it here let's write this again e e plus e that is from p1 now in the next step e is split into e star e so this e is changed to s and from s to e next this s this e is changed to s and from s it's cha it changes to b 
and next this e changes to s and s to d so writing the yield of a tree we know that it has to be from left to right and all the terminals needs to be considered it it will be a star b plus d so we get the output as a star b plus d so this is the parse tree and this is the yield of a tree that we have obtained so this was for lmd1 now let's construct the parse tree for lmd2 so it has to start from e yes uh, the next we have e star e next e changes to s s changes to a yes and on this side e changes to e plus e so here we have e plus and e here this e changes to s s changes to b s and s changes to b and on this side e changes to s and s changes to d e changes to s and s changes to d okay now let's write the yield of a tree it, it has to start from the terminal right a star b plus d a star b plus d yeah now let's write it for the rmd let's write the parse tree for rmd so here we'll start from e e derives e plus c and this e is further written as parenthesis uh, parenthesized e right so here we'll write e e okay then we have this e splits as e plus c e. so here we have e plus e this e changes to s and s changes to e a s and s changes to a and on this side e changes to s and s changes to d and on this side e changes to s and s changes to b now let's write the yield of tree b plus bracket open parenthesis d plus a close parenthesis so it will be b plus open parenthesis d plus a close parenthesis so that was the string which was asked right b plus d plus a yes we have obtained it here so i hope uh, you have understood how to obtain the lmd dmd and the corresponding parse trees so this topic is pretty simple if you have any doubts do let me know in the comments and subscribe to my channel thank you